What is up guys, Rooney Service.net here. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up a simple machines forum on your web hosting. In this case, I'm using the free web hosting that you get with all services on um, from my company at Rooney Service.net. So let's just head over to cPanel, grab the login information you got on your email. I'm just log it in here. All right, now go to um, go to the file manager. It's right there. Web root, that is fine. Okay, now we have our files here. Now I head over to simplemachines.org, click on the download here. Uh, full install, just get the zip version, that is fine. Save it on your computer. Uh, go back to the file manager, click on upload, browse, and then find the file you downloaded. Open, it's gonna upload down here. It's great. Go back, right click, extract. Extract the files, close. You can remove that file now. Right, go back to cPanel, go down to MySQL database wizard, create a um, database here, just naming this database DB, you can name it whatever really, DB. Now we are gonna get the password, just, uh, I always uh, generate one, it's just the uh, safest I guess. Alright, copy this, use password, create the user, give it all privileges, next step. Alright. Let's go back to the install here. Just um, a refresh the page there, uh, continue. And here is the database um, settings. Depending on where you host your um, your MySQL server, you may need to uh, to change this to an IP address or something. But in most cases, localhost is fine. Put in a password. I'm just going to put it up here. So you, you need to save this password because we're going to need it later. Go back and now find the username and database name that you uh, created the user with. Put that in both places in my case. Um, all right, continue. Um, forum name, um, my forum. That's fine, don't, don't touch that. It usually finds it by itself, so you don't really need to change it. Continue, it's now populating the, um, the database with the tables. Hmm. All right, great. Um, all right, it's done. So continue, and now we need to create a admin user for ourselves. Uh, webmaster. All right. Now here is the reason why I told you to save this password because we're gonna need it right there. Just put in the database password, click continue, and it should create your account. Quick, just uh, click that, click uh, view your uh, newly installed form. And that is pretty much it. Um, I will show you in a new tutorial on how you can change the theme and all that good stuff. So don't forget to subscribe for that. Peace out.